Hey gang, in this episode of our video series and course, we're gonna talk about internal components. All right, so the stuff that's inside of the PC and the laptop, what they are and what they do. Let's get straight into it. So here are some of the most important parts inside of your PC or your laptop, right? So your CPU, your central processing unit, without that, nothing's happening nothing at all so your cpu goes on your motherboard and your motherboard is important as well because you got your cpu and your ram on your motherboard so your cpu or your central processing unit is the brain of the computer every process every keystroke every mouse click that is what the cpu is for it registers all those processes that you're performing and then it executes okay so a cpu super important it is the brain of the computer and it processes everything that you do now ram ram is random access memory so ram is a form of memory and a hard drive is a form of memory right so ram is good the more ram the better what happens is is all the stuff that you access frequently all the stuff that you're working on right now is stored on ram so instead of having to go through a huge hard drive the cpu and the computer can just search for things that you're looking for stuff that you clicked on stuff that you're working on it can just store that inside of the ram okay more ram the faster less ram the slower now a storage drive is where the bulk of your information is going to be at that's going to be where your operating system is that's going to be where most of your files are all right so that's a bigger chunk so let's say we got eight gigs of ram but we got a terabyte or 500 gigabytes of actual storage now there's a couple of different types of hard drives that right there the picture of that is a traditional hard drive so that type of hard drive has moving parts, right? So it has a disc, it has platters, and it spins up just like a, a little DJ turntable, right? So the thing about those is they're a lot more susceptible to damage. So if it's spinning and you turn it off, it could damage. If it's spinning and it drops or the device is shaking up, it can damage. Now a solid state drive, it performs the same function but it removes all the moving parts. So it's a lot more durable and it doesn't break as easily. Solid state drive, solid, no moving parts. Traditional hard drive, it has moving parts and can get damaged more, um, a little bit easier. Um, another storage type is an optical drive. An optical drive is just CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs. You can save stuff on those and move around and do what you want to, okay? All right, so like we talked about motherboards so pictured on the right is a motherboard currently it doesn't have any ram or a cpu um all of the things that are listed on this actually go on the motherboard the video card what do we think that's for that's for video so if you want um, a high-end graphics card maybe you do graphic design maybe you do video editing maybe you like to play video games a video card would be super important that's actually what's pictured on the uh, left that is a graphics card video card an audio card if you wanted a better sound system if you wanted to upgrade the sound you can put an audio card in there if you want to get on the internet you have to have a network card or a NIC, a network interface card. You have to have a network card to get on the internet. All of these things will be found on the motherboard. And just a quick uh, recap, remember the CPU, super important, more RAM the better, traditional hard drives, moving parts, solid state drives, no moving parts. So one of the biggest things about uh, PCs, laptops in general is cooling. So as the CPU is processing and doing what it's doing, it starts to heat up. And if it gets too hot, it can actually overheat and damage. Now, most devices are, by default, have a setting inside of them that it'll shut down. Now, the device will shut down before it gets too hot and melts and start acting crazy. 
So there's a couple different ways we can do this. One of the oldest ways, case fans and CPU fans. So a case fan would be a fan that's going to blow the hot air out of the case, out of the, CP, uh, out of the PC, and out of the laptop. A CPU fan is a fan that's directly on the CPU, right on top of it, sucking the heat out of it and blowing it away. And then the case fan would actually blow it completely out of the case. Last but not least, we got liquid cooling. So liquid cooling is, um, it sounds like it would be expensive, but it's actually pretty inexpensive. And the way that works is that either water or some other substance that's liquid will be placed inside of tubes. These tubes will run over the CPU and the heat that is produced from the CPU will be transferred to the liquid inside of those tubes. There would be a reservoir where that hot water, that hot liquid will be cooled and then it will be pumped back.